Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I had so much fun doing that uh, Wonder Provoke 21 video that I decided to go ahead and do a, a video for one of my other backpacks that I use quite a bit. And this is probably the best backpack that you never heard about. It's a Compagnon Element Backpack. So we'll kind of go over some of the features of this backpack and I'll also tell you some of the things that I don't like about this backpack as we go along here. So we'll start right here on the outside. And one of the things I really do like about this backpack is it has an external pocket right here on the outside. In my opinion, this is missing from a lot of backpacks out there. Great space to put your small little items. And then hit up there above that. It's kind of an empty pocket and it goes down quite a bit, about as far down as my hand goes. And that's a great place to put things like a lens cloth or maybe slip some of your lens caps throughout the day in there. Now, one of the things that I learned about this particular backpack is that you, you don't want to be putting a bunch of camera stuff up in the front of this backpack. You want to keep this for things that you would keep in your pocket ordinarily. And the reason you want to do that is, let's say that you're, you're accessing your camera gear from the back here. It opens from the back. You know, you're doing your camera gear, getting everything ready. Oh, I need something from, from, from the front pocket. Well, you got to kind of lean it up like this and uh, get it out and that risk uh, some of your gear may fall out while you're doing that. So, but just highly suggest keeping, you know, everyday items, stuff that you would keep in your pocket, not related to camera gear up here in the front. We go over here to this side over here and it's this little pocket right here. This is just for little bitty uh, flat items, like maybe your passport, documents or stuff like that. It does have some expansion to it but you're not gonna be able to fit just a whole lot in this pocket, just basically meant for super flat item. We go over here to the side of it, has a nice water bottle pocket. And what I like about this is it has that, it has that uh, elasticity to the water bottle pocket. So you can hold a, a large one, you can hold a small one, you can put a full tripod in there, you can put a small tripod in like this, and it'll cinch up nice and tight and it's not gonna go anywhere. And anything that you put in there, you can lash to the top with this strap. And all these straps come with it. The good thing about this backpack is they provide lots of straps, lots of dividers, things like that. So you don't have to buy any uh, additional accessories as far as that kind of stuff goes. Over here on this side, <coughs> we have <laughs> uh, side access. Some people like side access, some people don't. I happen to like and enjoy side access. And the good thing about this bad boy is right here is it is huge. I mean, a huge side access uh, panel there. You can take any size camera or any kind of size camera that I have, easily get it in and out of that side access. There's not going to be any kind of catch ups or hang ups or anything like that getting your camera out of there. Uh, so if you're a side access person, this one has a great one because it's nice and big. Down here on the bottom is another pocket. And you might be able to put like a tripod in there. I've never really used this for anything. To be honest with you, it's just a little bit too shallow. But I think that you could put, you know, a tripod in there, secure your uh, feet in this little compartment right here. It's another little elastic, you know, holder. You could put two feet in there and secure it with this uh, strap up here at the top. And this little pocket down here comes with this little elastic band with a carabiner on it. And uh, what I do on that little carabiner, you can put your keys or something like that. I keep this little uh, tool on there, so all it has, you know, a tripod tool, any kind of tools I would need, and also I keep a little flashlight. Now you can also, you know, they thought of a lot on this bag, trust me. Uh, you can use that little carabiner, you can bring all these zips together and lock all these zips together all at once. You know, it's a security feature, and that's really, <laughs> that's pretty ingenious if you ask me. And uh, I didn't really know about it until just, yeah, I saw somebody point it out. And I was like, oh, man, that's pretty neat, you know. Uh, I never have a need to, to lock up my stuff like that. But, you know, if you ever find your, you know, self in a situation where you think you may need to do that, that's a good little solution right there. Locks up your whole side access. And uh, it can lock up this front uh, pocket right here. So this bag right here, it has, it has a roll top on it. And I kind of found that you're a roll top person or you're not a roll top person. I don't use it just a whole lot, not as much as I thought. But it is a pretty sweet addition because, you know, you can, if you have some extra stuff, like I've used it once when I went on vacation, 
I put a whole bunch of stuff in there, you know, then removed it when I got to the hotel and it was, you know, so I had it all in one bag. And uh, the good thing about this one is, is you can just, it has a magnetic clip on there and pops up and it can roll up. And it, it has a significantly large uh, space up here for the row top. I mean, you can kind of imagine what you can put in there, extra jacket, clothes, socks, it's important, uh, you know, things like that, things you want to keep super dry, uh, all in there. And then when you want to roll it up and just snap it down like that, you're good to go. We'll kind of come down here on the bottom of this bad boy, on the very, very bottom is a zipper and it's really hidden. You can zip that open and there's a rain fly stuck down in there. And that sucker is hidden like you wouldn't believe. So it does come with its own rain fly and you wouldn't know it was there unless you were actually looking for it. Come around on the back side of this uh, backpack, we can talk about the, uh, the straps. Now it does come with a belt strap, a waist strap. I don't ever use those because I'm not hiking just a whole lot, you know, but I do like using a bag like this. I'm more drawn to these outdoor adventure type bags than I am like a street bag or something like that. But I never find myself really using a waist strap. I always take them off because they're just kind of getting in the way and everything. Shoulder straps, they're nice and padded. Pretty much do a, a decent job. And I'll talk a little bit about these a little bit later on in the video. Okay, it has a chest strap, you know, easily adjustable. It has a whistle on the, on the uh, buckle there, and you can fit a capture clip or whatever on, onto your backpack. Pretty easy. Uh, it has these two little buckles right here on each side of the uh, shoulder straps. And what that is, is it's called load lifters. And these, uh, you see these on all kinds of these uh, outdoor adventure bags. This really helps distribute the weight a little bit better than a, a bag that doesn't have load lifters. And I enjoy having them on a bag, especially if you're gonna be packing it down with just a whole bunch of weight. I'll talk about these just a little bit more later in the video, these particular style of load list lifters. All the zippers on this bag are these waterproof, water repellent zippers uh, that you see on bags these days. It makes them a little bit stiff, you know, at first, but then they kind of break in a little bit over time and uh, hopefully they don't wear out very fast. Only time will tell on that, but it gives you a little bit of extra confidence if you ever get caught out in some rain or some bad weather, that the zippers will help protect you from that. It does have a top handle right here on the top of it. When you lift it up, you can see it kind of leans forward like that. Just something to take note of. When I lifted the Wonder 21 up, it could just come straight up because it has handles on both sides of the frame. Uh, it just comes straight up. This one, this, this one, cants forward just a little bit. That creates a little bit of pressure right here on this top zipper. Hasn't been a problem yet, you know, but I think maybe if you pack this thing heavy and you just are doing that over and over and over again, it may, you know, loosen up that zipper or break that zipper. Okay, we'll go on to the inside of this backpack. I don't know the exact measurements of the backpack, like exactly how much it'll hold, but I want to say about 30, 35 liters. If you're familiar with a uh, Low Pro Pro Tactic 450, the same amount of gear will fit in this backpack that'll fit in that. Uh, so uh, roughly about that much gear. We'll start here on top. It has two uh, zipper compartments here and they're cool because you can take them off, put them wherever you want, and you can see through them. And I think that's really important. Like the Provoke 21, you can't see through them, so you don't know exactly what is in your, your divide, you know, in, in your pockets. I like to be able to see in there a little bit, see what I'm grabbing. And I, I think that's a nice addition. And you have one long one and one smaller one. Okay. Up here, you have a laptop sleeve and uh, it's nice and deep. I put my 14 inch Mac book in there, no problems. I can also fit my 15 inch, uh, Dell XPS 15 in there, no problems at all. Uh, I'm sure you could probably get a 16 inch MacBook in there, but I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure you could. And it has a Velcro latch on there, so it's not gonna fly off the top. Another cool thing about this bag, there's lots of little hidden features. 
up here on the top has this little velcro thing now you can, they say you can put a, a, a tablet down in there now it's not padded or anything it's not no felt lining down in there but you can definitely put a tablet in there and then also really cool feature up here on the top Let's see if you can see that right there it has a little pad in there you know and what you can do you can pull that out and kneel on it or sit on it if the ground's wet that's what they put that in there. That is like super thinking right there. That's like super smart thinking. And it, you know, gives, obviously it gives structure to the back of the bag, but you can pull it out and sit on it if the ground's wet. I just think that is, that's like next level thinking right there. <laughs> okay, we get up here to the inside of the bag and these dividers are really nice. They're like super thick and the Velcro is really strong. They're not going to slide around. Nothing's going to slide around wherever you put the, the dividers, wherever you put your gear, that's where it's going to stay. Now these, uh, the, what, what, the one thing that I really do like about this particular backpack is this is nice and deep. So you can sit your backpack straight up and down on the bottom. It doesn't move. And also you can get a big old lens and stick it straight up and down. You don't have to store them sideways. When you start storing stuff sideways, you take up a lot more room than you otherwise need to. So for instance, this 51.2 lens, you can stick it straight up and down. Tamron 28 to 200, straight up and down, no problem at all. One of the cool things that they give you is, I'll just rip this out of here, is these little dividers like this, they have a little mesh pocket in there, a little elastic pocket. <laughs> so you can fit extra little gear in there. So what I did is like, you know, I'll put, I'll put this in here like, you know, like I would any divider and say, I'm going to put my 360 camera in there, right there in that pocket. Then I'll put a couple of batteries right there in that little elastic pocket. So boom, I have everything to go right there that I need for the Insta360. Okay. When you look at this backpack like this, of course up here is your roll top and you have this little shelf on top. And I find that's a really good spot to put like, oh, like a selfie stick. That's what I'll put up in there. Or like one of those little uh, Manfrotto Pixies, stick it up in there, something like that. That's a good spot to put that kind of stuff. Okay, there's only two things about this particular bag that I'm just not a huge fan of. And one has to do with these load lifters back here. Now this backpack opens like this, you know? So you have to zip around all the way around the outside of the backpack to get it open. Well, the way these load uh, lifters are uh, situated, if you have them buckle, every time you go to unzip your backpack, you have to stop and unbuckle the load lifters. So, you know, you have to un unbuckle them and zip them on around, open your stuff up, okay? And then you're like, well, I'm not gonna be using the load lifters all that much. So I'll just leave them unbuckled. Well, they kind of they kind of wind up wrapping around just a little bit like that. You know, they kind of sit like that. Even though you're not even using the load lifters, you go to uh, undo your backpack and you hit the load, you hit the buckle every time you can't unbuckle your backpack. And then you hit the other one. <laughs> it's like twice, you know, two times, you know. I find that to be pretty a frustrating thing about this particular backpack. Like, you know, the first time you do it, you're like, eh, it's not that big a deal. Second time you do it, you're like, eh, you know, figure it out. And then the third time, you know, about the 10th time, you start getting kind of a little vein going right here, you know. It's like just, you know, starts getting to you a little bit. And about six months into using this bag, you're questioning whether maybe I should just cut these things off or not. And that's kind of where I am right now because just over and over and over again, you need to get in your stuff and you gotta adjust these little buckles each time, each time. You need to get something out of it and it just, you can't unzip the whole thing just super easy. I've seen other designs uh, where the, uh, it unzips like this part of unzip and it opens like this and you don't have to mess with any of the low lifters, the straps or anything. And maybe that might be just a little bit of a better design for a bag like this. And so the last thing that I'm not just a huge fan about this backpack is the straps, the shoulder straps. 
They are nice and cushy. There's no doubt about it. But I've come to realize that it's not about cushy or thickness of the straps uh, to make it comfortable. It's the width of the straps that really makes a big difference. I have sent, I have, I can take this amount of gear, put it into another backpack with wider straps and it just doesn't feel uh, like, you know, it just doesn't feel that heavy or that cumbersome to me. But sometimes in this bag, when you get it filled full of stuff, it can, it can feel a little heavy. It can, and it can start to hurt a little bit. These straps can start to hurt a little bit after a while, you know? And I think that's mainly because of the width of the strip, the straps, not the padding, paddingness of it. So just something to keep in mind. So anyway, that's a, that's a, a look at the Compagnon Element backpack, probably the best backpack that you never heard about. I would cautiously recommend this one. I mean, it's a good backpack. It's gonna serve you well. It's never gonna break down. It's fairly comfortable. Um, and they really put a lot of thought into designing something pretty special here. Uh, just a few little things, man, this thing could be perfect, but unfortunately, those two little things are just kind of bugaboos of mine, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.